To balance this equation, aluminum chloride plus calcium hydroxide will count the atoms up. We have one aluminum, we have three chlorines, one calcium, and we're going to use a trick here since this is a double displacement reaction and we have this polyatomic ion, the hydroxide, and it stays together. We have hydroxide here and here. We're going to count that as one thing and that'll help us keep track of all the oxygens. So we have one hydroxide times the two, that gives us two of those. On the product side, one aluminum, two chlorines, one calcium, and then three of these hydroxides. So now we can balance the equation. Why don't we start by balancing the chlorines? And since we have an odd number, it's probably going to be best to get this to be an even number. So let's put a two in front of the aluminum chloride. Now we have three times two. That gives us six. That's an even number. And then the aluminum, one times the two. We have two of those. So now we can fix the chlorines by putting a three in front of the calcium chloride. So we have two times three. That gives us six. So those are balanced. And then the calciums, we have one times the three. That gives us three. And those are balanced. We still have a problem here with the hydroxides. We have this odd number and an even number. Let's put a two in front of the aluminum hydroxide. See what that does. So now we have the three hydroxides times the two. That'll give us six and then one times the two for the aluminum. And that actually balances the aluminums for us. On this side of the equation, we need six hydroxides. We only have two. So we'll put a three in front of the calcium hydroxide. So the two hydroxides, two times three, that gives us six. And then for the calcium, one times three, that gives us three and those are balanced. So we're done. This equation is balanced. So that little trick of counting these hydroxides, if they appear on both sides, is just one thing, makes it quite a bit easier to balance and less prone to error. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for aluminum chloride plus calcium hydroxide. Thanks for watching.